there was a law that was passed in the United States to um, help train judges on oh, patent patent law on patent law, which is important because the guys who are judges are definitely at the end of their career. Mm-hmm. You know, they're they're mm-hmm. older people. They're not in touch with technology. They're not in touch with iPods and this newfangled well, interweb uh, and all that. My dad's a perfect example. My my right. my father uh, was in and out of being up for federal judge. You know, for a decade and decided he didn't want to do it. He wanted to stay with what he was doing. But uh, the interesting thing is, you know, I can't get him to check email. Right. Yeah. Let alone understand, you know, all the yeah. ins and outs of, of how this how this stuff works. Yeah. I mean, these are the guys that are that are making the decision. That are making yeah. the decisions. That are like, okay, well, we don't know what a digital signature is. We don't know what, uh, and they don't understand sign. why you'd want it. And they don't. And, and it's not that they're not smart guys. There's a lot of people that are really smart. They really know what they're talking about. They and when you get into the areas that they know about. Uh, they're very, very knowledgeable. They just, but they're being asked to basically mm-hmm. make these decisions right. without any right. understanding of what's actually going right. on. And so when they're when they're trying a patent law case that is, oh, say the Amazon one click, mm-hmm. right, which was totally bogus. It should have never been released that patent. But when it goes up against a judge, he looks at it and goes, well, of course that sounds like a really cool thing, but mm-hmm. not. In not context. understanding that we had a whole bunch of examples of one click way prior to one click right. being invented as yep. a, as a patent. Right. Well, and there's lots of technology examples like that lately. I mean, you know, Slashdot has often uh, stories about patents that are like, you look at like, how did they get a patent for that? Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. Well, and I think we, we got into this, I believe, a little bit in, the last, in, in last week's show, so I don't want to dig into it too far. But the, the, the interesting thing is, is, is when we started patents and when we started copyright, it really was something that was much more difficult to do, much more difficult to mm-hmm. keep, much more complicated and hard, and not many people actually did it. You really didn't do it unless you had something that – you didn't have a machine that was pumping out. It right. really wasn't until we saw Edison probably, be, until we saw a machine pumping out just hundreds and hundreds of patents. Right. Mm-hmm. You know, we're going to patent every little thing. For for Steve Jobs to p- go up there and say we we created 200 patents just for the iPhone, right. to me was not something that was – that's necessarily Hardly. a triumph, right. you know. I was right. like, "This is a failure of the system that we yeah. have to, we have to, we have to cover every little thing that we do that's new, is just insanity." Yeah, doesn't really work.